Hello, Polygoners. Welcome back to our drunk cast featuring my great friend, Canadian Whiskey. We've already drank that much, guys. We're pretty deep in. No, we're not. There's a lot left to go. This is a half gallon. I don't think I'm going to be able to drink this all tonight, but we're going to drink and cast and cast and drink over the next few nights until this baby runs out. So you guys should have a lot of content coming your way. Um, there's going to be a lot of it. At this point, I'm definitely feeling it, so venture with caution. Here on the bottom right hand side of Abyssal Reef, he is already starting a Roach Warren on one base. In the Zerg vs. Terran matchup, he's definitely a player known for this type of stuff. It's no regret. On the account, same old songs. He's in the blue Zerg trunk, by the way. His opponent has scouted him. Sees the Roach Warren, possibly, maybe? Hold on. I want to know. Does he see it? No, he did not see it, but he knows something's up. Anyways, these guys have a rivalry. Because the red Terran here on the top left was eliminated by no regret in some pretty major events some time ago. Did I mention this is a drunk cast? He's rival Cuddle Bear. All right, so these lings, very early pull, very early Roach Warren. We'll see what he does. Like, I'm a really aggressive Zerg. I love like being the offensive player, getting that scouting information, and being able to react that much quicker to my opponent. So me and No Regret are kind of kindred spirits in that sense. However, Zerg first Terra and I have a really hard time all inning in. So. I really want to see what he's got up his sleeves here. He's got the Ravagers morphing. They're going to be morphing at home and traveling the distance, which is a little bit tricky, actually, because there's a Reaper on the map, and he may get caught here in this fog. That that could be interesting. However, the Link's coming up from behind, so he's going to force the Reaper to possibly come out of that um, line of sight blocker there. Reaper is taking some damage, but he's killing off these Links. He may... Uh, not realize that the Ravagers are going to be here to shut that down. Boom. So that's what the wings were for. Okay. Now we do see the uh, Marines trying to knock these, this Overlord back, but they cannot continue to do that because the Ravagers are on the way. He's going to need to get into this bunker very, very quickly. He may not have been expecting Ravagers here. He's got to pull these SCVs off. However, SCVs will take shots from a good Corrosive Bile, but No Regret doesn't have anything up there to scout for the Corrosive Biles. So he loses one Ravager just to the, uh, the Marines. Um, that, that Overlord not being in position is actually huge. So, Cuddle Bear doing exactly the right thing in targeting that. And now the Ravagers don't have that much there to tank for him. He's trying to take out some of these SCVs, but the SCVs actually doing a really good job dancing around this bunker. Now, there is some macro going on at home, but not a whole lot. He is getting another base. However, this has set him back quite a bit. The Marine's going to be swinging down here to try and take out this uh, final... Uh, Ravager, he's going to get the Overlord instead. Another Overlord coming in. He may be sniped here by the Marines. Really good job. He does get that Overlord, and these Ravagers taking a lot of damage, but uh, No Regret doing a really good job keeping them alive for just as long as possible. He's utilizing their greater range and slightly better movement speed until Marines get stem pack at least. Not focusing too much on the Corrosive Biles just long enough to disengage the, the army there. Really, really great control there by both players. Now, the follow-up to this, well, Cuddle Bear is a little supply block. He was going for medevacs. He was going for tanks. He's going to be getting that depot. He may want to throw on another depot as quickly as possible. Uh, going ahead and salvaging that, that bunker there. Gets a couple of add-ons. All right, sweet. Ravagers do come home. That's going to allow No Regret to focus a little less on defense because he does still have those, and they'll regenerate health over time. And at this stage in the game, you can generally expect things to calm down from that early aggression. This is going to be a little bit more of a build period. Cuddle Bear going to move out onto the map and try to uh, make that build period as short as possible because it's the building period that really scares people about Zerg. Both players utilizing the line of sight blocker in very interesting ways. The tank is going to get hit by one Ravager Bile, but we are loading up here on the elevator drop. Tank just slightly out of range at this point, but keeping the Ravager out of range of the tank as well. 
Rapture Bile is often used in lower levels, like as damage, and I mean it can be sometimes, but mostly it's used to disengage, as you've been seeing when we're doing here. And uh, when, when units are completely sieged like that, you can definitely take them out as well. Also good against air sometimes, not quite going to be enough to kill this one. Alright, so Liberator does get scouted. No regret not moving his queens in a position though. Creep spread a little lacking between the main and natural. And as you can see, there is no lair yet. Liberator getting in position, so while No Regret did see the Liberator, he did not respond to it. He may have regrets about that. And here's the thing about Ravagers. They're actually great against Liberators, because Liberators do siege up. And now being very careful, um, not lose too many drones. He does take out that Liberator. With both players taking their third, this is still highly favoring Cuddle Bear. Equal worker count, equal number of bases, always um, a disadvantage for Zerg. And at this point, we are seeing the 1-1 upgrades coming out for our Zerg player. Meanwhile, the Terran are going to be switching into a massively bio style. Cuddle Bear, very much so known for this. Really strong creep spread for this point in the game, all things considered. Viking hunting overlords on the map. Very, very standard Terran play to limit map control for the Zerg. And, of course, behind that, you can almost always expect drops when you see this Viking. That's typically a bio play, and that typically does mean drops are going to be coming, and possibly a push as well to drop to get your army out of position, and then the uh, the push to punish you for being out of position. Ideally, though, you can intercept this, deal with it, and then deal with the drop. You see the queens are kind of already in position, and uh, doing the transfuse thing on these overlords. A uh, little bit late on getting into this battle, but basically the Lings got us around on the siege tanks while they were in transit. But at this point, we do have stemmed Marines with some medevac support. Uh, stemming onto the Queens, taking Queens out left, right, and center. That's why you make a lot of extra Queens in this particular matchup. Roaches and Lings trying to defend as well, but the Queens taking a lot of damage. The last Queen does fall there. Roaches, drones, and lings being pulled off the line. He's got to make sure this army finally evaporates. But Cuddlebear doing the most he can to, uh, to to maximize the potential usage of that army. And then goes ahead and pulls it right on back. He's going to heal those guys up and continue his attack. There are uh, reinforcements coming in um, from the center base. And it looks like the drop will be on this uh, location over here. He's going to reconsolidate all of his forces rather than do a split push. And at this stage of the game, we have Banelink speed just now starting. So this is going to be a very brutal period for uh, No Regret until that does complete. Really good Banelink hits, though, despite not having Banelink speed. Good scans there, clearing this creep off. That's definitely kind of a hidden resource for Zerg in this matchup. Anytime you can do this as a Terran player, do it. Maybe don't overstay your welcome though. This could turn very bad for Cuddle Bear. He's a strong player, though. We'll see how this works out. He loses a lot of Marines, only one medevac worth of Marines left. And another drop going here into the natural. Another one swinging here into the third. Um, this third should be dealt with pretty easily. Takes out most of that fire. But these drones are getting massacred over here. He's about 27 workers behind his opponent right now. And again, Zerg needs to be ahead and ahead on bases. He is neither. So at this point, we're seeing Cuddle Bear really tearing apart No Regret's army. The only real option I see No Regret having right now is to try to all in, and even then, that's probably not going to work. Take a look at this unit loss tab just to see kind of a relative idea of where these guys are in the game. Or even at the regular supply tab. Um, Cuddle Bear sitting about three times his opponent's army supply. That's brutal. And looks like we are getting the final battle, depending on how this goes. This could be it for no regret. The tanks are sieging up. Ravagers too far away to be able to 
uh, do any bow shots, and there goes the wow. Out of no regret, Cuddle Bear taking a very convincing victory there over no regret, earning his revenge. Guys, if you like this content, please hit like on this video, share it with your friends. If you are not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you get notifications whenever we update the channel. And if you're feeling particularly generous, please visit us on Patreon at patreon.com slash polygonsc2. Guys, I will see you next time for the Drunk Cast. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. Until next time, Chatelet, my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.